Our final presentation is Emma Garcia speaking on an engineer's take to the bone ligament interface utilizing novel technology to improve clinical outcomes. Hi everyone, thanks for sticking around. So when I was a kid, bright eyed, more imagination than sense, knee high to a cricket, I decided that I too could fly like the witches and wizards of Harry Potter and to prove it, I jumped off the back of my dad's truck with a broomstick between my legs and was going to fly off into the sunset. Only I didn't so much fly as go splat on the concrete and ended up snapping a ligament in my ankle. Now this injury still plagues me to this day because despite how common ligament injuries are in the United States, there are no real good methods to repairing them. So older and debatably just as unwise as my broomstick days, I joined a lab here on campus that's looking to create a tissue engineering scaffold to regrow ligament as a better alternative to these repair options. Now, these scaffolds are very similar to the ones you see on the front of buildings during construction, or like the one Michelangelo would have used to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. They're there to support the workers as they construct the new edifice, and in time are taken away to let the building stand on its own. For the body, however, it's not quite as easy as throwing up some two by fours or finding a talented Italian painter. Whatever material we use needs to A, not kill the patient, because they tend to appreciate that, and B, mimic whatever tip shoe we're trying to regrow, both mechanically and biologically. Now for ligament, it's even more tricky because the tissue is what we call functionally graded. That means that as it connects to bones, it goes from being stiff or bone-like to viscoelastic, able to stretch in the middle, back to being stiff and bone-like again. Scaffolds traditionally targeting this tissue have been made of one material, but we believe you need a combination of materials and a combination of techniques to capture this complex tissue. So we built what we call our e-spin printer. It's pictured here behind me. It has two tool heads and a movable bed that transitions between them. The two techniques we use with this are called 3D bioprinting and near foot electrospinning. Now 3D bioprinting is very similar to the printers you have in your office, except that our ink is biocompatible and it can be la deposited layer by layer to build up a three dimensional structure. Near foot electrospinning uses an electric field to pull fibers out of solution. So if you think of a cotton candy making machine, you're pulling long strands of sugar out of the syrup in the middle to create kind of a woven mat of syrupy goodness. It's very similar to that, except not edible. So we print and spin materials that are called polymers, which is just a fancy name for plastics. And we characterize how do they behave mechanically? Are they bone-like? Are they ligament-like? And then we see how cells respond to them. Will they attach and begin to regrow the ligament tissue we're looking for? We hope to create a composite scaffold that has two rigid bone-like structures with fibers integrated in between them as a better alternative to a ligament um, repair option. And we aim with by using these engineering techniques and tools to offer um, new tools for clinicians to use whenever you come into the doctor's office, and ultimately improve patient mobility and quality of life. Thank you. Emma, thank you so much. As our last presenter, would you mind saying you know, what this experience did for you? It was a really good way to think about um, how I talk about my research, because everybody knows what, a, what ligament is and how much it hurts when you sprain your ankle. But when I would use the term scaffold, I would get a lot of blank looks a lot of times. So it was really good to kind of dial it back and use like layman's terms to reach a broader audience, Great. like my parents. <laughs> Great, <laughs> oh, yeah, perfect. And what will you be doing next? Um, I actually just defended my master's yesterday, so I'm graduating real soon. Oh, congrats.